Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 996. And this is my first playthrough for recording purposes. I've got 33 moves to clear out 25 jelly. And it looks like the jelly is all the way along the border here. Um, and none under these guys, but of course I'll probably have to break down these guys in order to get over here. And then I've got licorice and... Uh, some marmalade besides the licorice locks and the frosting. So let's see what we can do. I'm going to strike as much of this frosting as quickly as possible and try to bust through, of course, making specials as I go and combining them. I love this. This is really going to be explosive on the board. It's going to open up this entire area. Now, the upper areas, we are kind of fighting against gravity with those. The good news is that as I make moves low to the ground, they're susceptible to um, cascading. So uh, hopefully we'll be able to clear that out. I would love to do to this side what I did to that side. Let's remove some stuff. And yeah, this one isn't coming through as, as quickly or clearly as the last one. Hmm, maybe I need to make some moves over here to affect there. I feel like I need to do this. All right, now I might be able to make a... No, I can't. I can't bring down... Well, no, that's not going to work either. If I can bring down the orange this way and then... Ah, oh, <laughs> well, you saw. You saw what happened, but at least I gave it a shot. Okay, so now we're starting to pick up some steam over here. I could do this, but I've already got this aligned. I'm going to take out some frosting instead. You always have to read the board. I used to love to make specials, and when I saw an opportunity to make a special, I would take it even if that wasn't the right turn, even if that wasn't the right choice for the board. So I've learned now to make sure that that's what I want to do. Uh, I can make a color bomb and then maybe set it with another special. I would kind of love to do that. Let's see if I can bring these together. It looks a little tricky. I think I'm... Oh, no. Here. Here we go. Now, I don't have anything up here that's orange, but I've got something all along here. Ooh, something dropped in. And it was kind of held in place because it was wrapped in that licorice. So I had a strong advantage there that the orange was going to help. Okay, so remember how I talked about fighting against gravity? And these stripes don't look helpful, but this does. And I have got a lot of green, but I don't have green over here to help out. Oops, well, that's just going to take out the most prevalent color. <laughs> that's what happens. Hopefully we'll get some cascades. There we go. Nice. Okay, and I have this to take this out. That's kind of overkill. So let's see about this side here. Ha ha ha. What are we doing this way? All right, I've got one red pointed that way and one red pointed that way. That's not a lot. I'm not worried about this now at all because I've got so much over there. So now I have two red pointed and one red pointed. That's a bit better. I'm going to try just a little bit more. Three red. I like my odds here. If I can get some, there we go, some stripes going in the right direction. So uh, that's how I beat this board. I start on one side and try to clear it out as much as possible, and that just gives me a bigger arena to make those matches and specials. I try to bust through all of the barriers before I worry about the jelly, and then I play cleanup on all of the residual stuff. If I can reach in those top areas, though, even though to, it's just to get jelly and not to take out a barrier, I'll probably do that pretty early in the game because we saw that it is tough to work against gravity. That was my first playthrough for recording purposes. If you'd like to see more videos, you can subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below, and I will answer as quickly as I can. And as always, thanks for watching.